All right, what's good, everybody? I'm at home. I'm in my staging room, my guest room, AKA my wife's yoga quarantine room. I'm setting all my stuff up, packing. I'm actually attempting to, yeah, it's a mess. Yeah, it's a horrible mess. I'm actually attempting to pack a little lighter this trip. Yeah, I usually pack way too much stuff. So we are leaving tomorrow afternoon at three. This is the day before, so this is the only day I really have to pack. But tomorrow night we're gonna drive through the night and into West Texas. Um, we'll probably stop at a rest stop here or there, uh, or you know, something along those lines. Take a little nappy nap. That's our plan, and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Let's pack this stuff up. And just like that, all done. Of course, I uh, you got snacks. Snacks on snacks on snacks. Healthy stuff, of course, you know, only the healthiest. We're off! We're off! Five doggies, we're off! <laughs> All right, we started a trip. We're going. We're heading out. We're going to Yuma. Yuma, Arizona, eventually. Death That's Valley. Oh, we'll see all that. <laughs> That's the hope. And a negative attitude on Jay. And my negative attitude will get us through this all. First big turn in two miles, Jay. First big turn is coming up. And then we won't see much else for a while. But we do have a snake, our first snake of the trip right here. Coming out of the air vent. I-10, here we come. Almost found forever. It won't seem like that. I would like to take a pre-trip picture of our the car at the moment. It's very clean orderly for the most part. This will last 12, 13 hours maybe. So we're stopped at a rest stop here in the middle of nowhere, western panhandle of Florida. We're about eh, an hour from the border, maybe less. I don't know what the heck we are. <laughs> A little update. I'm a cobra. I'm a cobra. All right, guys, a real update. We are at a Bucky's in uh, near San Antonio. So we've been driving all night, and it's now five o'clock in the morning. We're about an hour, an hour from San Antonio, I guess. I think I just said that. But then we're also another, I don't know, six hours from where we're going to stay tonight, down in Terlingua, Texas. We're gonna head out that way in a minute on the road. Tired, tired, tired as hell. It's Dick's turn to drive though, so it's his turn. I'm done for a little while. Sleepy times. Oh, we made it through the night. Somehow we made it through the night. It is morning, we made it through the night. It's blue outside. Oh, hours to go, hours. We've done hours by Days to go. This is a big red tail talk. We're just uh, kind of birdie right now because it's really kind of chilly out, so that's our goal. We're stopping at Seminole Canyon. It's a place off 90. We always stop, but not a lot of herpetofauna, but birds and pretty scenery. So that's what we're doing, right, Dick? Whatever you say, Jake. This is your trip, and we're doing whatever you make me do. All right. It's a little chilly this morning. Maybe I don't know. Maybe in the 60s right now, but it's sunny, so we might see some lizards hanging out on rocks and such. Let's give it a look, see, shall we? the 
windmill. If there's water in it. Did you want to look? Should I go look? Let's go look. I'm Sometimes there's some Rio Grande leopard frogs sitting in this little tank here. But uh, for some reason I'm not seeing any right now. There's quite a bit of water still. I'd be very surprised if there's none in here. Uh, I am surprised. Any in the actual tank? Can't see over the wall. Camera can, I can't. You see anything? What do you see? Huh. That's tight. I don't know if my camera's even working right now. I got mud all over. I just fell into this so tall onto the ground, full of mud. Oh, man, I just ate it. That's not good. Oh, I'm gonna walk back to the car and I didn't get any leopard frogs either. Look at that, tanks, all kinds of crap. Coming into everyone's favorite West Texas town, Sanderson. There's not going to be a unlit canyon in this whole area, or rock cut in this whole area. Come summer, in about a better week or so, a few weeks. There's a, a dino boy. It is. Oh, we have a pair of. Now they're a pair, actually. They're both females. We have big butt. Yeah. <laughs> Prong horns. Okay, so we just arrived. It took us, I don't know, several hours. <laughs> I'd say it took us about 18 hours, 20, 19 hours. We're out here in West Texas. And yeah, some bikers going by. But as you can see, there's a desert behind us. We're unfortunately only here for one night. But this is a, a place we've been to. This is our eighth year here. Eighth time. And uh, we stayed here several times and also at the Wild Horse up the road several times. But anyway, we're here tonight. We're going to be brief, just one night uh, on our way west. But we're going to look for some cactuses in a little while. Cactuses, this is. It's pretty warm. Uh, it, earlier it was probably in the 70s. Got down here into the lower basin, and it's probably in the 90s now, maybe low 90s. But they're expecting only the 60s or low 60s, upper 50s tonight. So we're going to see if anything's going to be moving, but maybe not. All right, wish us luck, and you'll see some stuff, hopefully. All right, now we're up here looking for the cactus, the, the uh, living rock in these flat areas up top. Hoping we can find one. All right, so here we go, guys. Here is the awesome, great, fantastic, and sweet looking uh, rock, living rock cactus. Most of their plant is underground, their roots and everything, it's, it grows kind of down like, like a, a iceberg. So that's pretty cool. They actually have a really big kind of purple flower that uh, flowers in the in October and the late fall. And uh, here's another one. another one. So we've got two here. So that's pretty cool. Two so far. We're gonna take pictures and here's a third one right here. So we found the hot spot for them. We're gonna take pictures and then just head on out. Are you happy, Dick? I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got the cactus, man. All right, we're about to go out cruising and we, of course we have to stop by and Pay our respects to the mayor of Lajitas. <laughs> Wish us luck out there. Always, always respect the goat. Our first herp of the trip. Our first lizard slash anything of the trip, really. It's a little Texas banded gecko, although he's not sitting still. Yeah, he is, kind of. There you go. Texas Banded Gecko. These are the smallest of the Colyonix geckos. Oh, there he goes. Shoo. Off the road. Shoo. 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 There we go. Look how cute these guys are. They're pretty common out here, but at the same time, awesome to see. I love these guys, one of my favorite little geckos. I'm gonna let them go right here on this hillside. Oh, 
All right. All right, we got our second snake, our first snake actually, sorry. Second hurt. It's like young diamondback. Cute. Baby Aatrox. Yeah, how cute is that, man? Hey, guy. Let me zoom in on a little bit. That's as far as I can go. All right, we're going to just leave him here and get going. Find something else. All right, let's go. Oh, no, yeah. All right, so we got our slump buster of a rattlesnake earlier, but... This guy is a Trans-Pecos rat snake, a little baby one at that. These are also pretty common out here. Usually see at least a few of these, but that's, this is a young one, really small. So here we go, here's the little guy in my hand. Total cute, cute little thing. Check out the size of this little hatchling. All right, we got a banded type of uh, variable ground snake that someone had just hit, unfortunately. These are kind of more rare color form here. We get the brown ones and the brown with red stripe, but not like these very often. That's unfortunate. We're gonna keep looking. Maybe we'll find something else. What do you say about that? Good morning and salutations, hello. Well, and greetings and hallucinations, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> we're on the road again. We are, we're heading west. It's border wall fencing, here it is. Piece by piece, this is the second truck we passed. A monsoon in May, May monsoon. Got ice cream. Got ice cream. And here he is with his ice cream. Hello, are you the Uber driver? Yes, I am. Uh, Where would you like to go? We're going to Nogales. Uh, we're going somewhere like that. Yeah, we're going to go to some road cruising. Oh, uh, that, that would. What's that? I'm the I'm the no, I'm the I'm the Uber road cruiser. What does that mean, sir? Uh, we're going to pick up uh, snakes, snake snake toots. Snakes. Snakes. Yeah. You, you, you're going to pick up snakes. Yeah, yeah, that's just the way we work here. That's the kind of Uber we are. That, that Uber does a snake. Yeah, see, as you can see right here on the dash, we're, we're, that means that's the Uber snake uh, well, I'll hunting. I'll take a chance on you, but I think I'm making a big mistake. You are. We're up here, pulling over for a beautiful cactus with a purple flower. All right, we got a snake in the road. Don't know what it is yet, probably a whip snake or a patch nose. It's a patch nose. How cool is that? Look at this guy. Beautiful. Mountain patch nose snake. First snake of the trip that's alive in um, Arizona. Love these guys. All right, we took our pictures. Time for the release. Maybe you can go under this rock. Hey, look at that. Found a rock hole. All right. Got ourselves a very nice young tiger rattlesnake. Look at the pinks on him. Pinks and kind of orange. And here we have Dick photographing him. He turned into a beautiful snake. That is a beautiful snake, yeah. Hey, 
Hey, coyote. Hey, coyote. Okay. So if you've watched some of my other videos, you do realize that Dick likes to stop for sunsets every now and again during the prime time. Well, here he is right here on the side of a major, on the side of a major highway. But look at it, it is a pretty sunset. That's pretty nice. All right. We got a little long nose snake. We think he was clipped. He was coiled in the middle of the road. It's, he's a little chilly, but I mean, he's still alive for now. I don't know. He's definitely not in a good way, but we're still gonna take some pictures of him because he's sitting here and uh, kind of immortalize him before he dies. And he's got a full foot load of ants. My, and they were all over my feet. Ah, good place to pull over. Just my luck. It's a Tucson banded gecko. She's actually gravid, quite gravid. There she is, right there. Zooming on her. There you go. Anytime I see these, I am extremely happy. So. We have found something tonight, which is amazing. She was really cold to the touch, but she's highly gravid. I don't know if we can see the eggs in her belly or not. Let's see here, I don't wanna hurt her too much. You can kinda of see the eggs. There's two eggs right there. Okay, cool. Good morning, everybody. It is day three of our trip, and it is early in the morning here. It's probably like 5.30. 540 what time is it yeah 540 and it is uh really cool really cold it gets uh the sun rises really early here in arizona they uh, go on that pacific time i think all year round or whatever it is daylight savings or standard time whatever it is all year round so it's always a little bit earlier on sunrise it's 5 30 in the morning here so um yeah it's cool it's uh 56 degrees right now um so there's a problem with that. So as you can see, it hasn't been the greatest trip um, so far, which is okay. It's just starting. But we're going to hopefully uh, turn that around here in a couple uh, couple hours. And then I head a little further west, and we have some uh, other things to do out there. Hopefully it's going to be really good. And uh, see you soon. Do I say hopefully enough? Because uh, I'm hoping. I'm not sure what this turkey's doing right here. He's deciding that... <laughs> Look at how he's going. Okay. Oh, oh. He figured out how to get on top of it like a squirrel. What the heck? What are you doing? <laughs> you guys want to see a dust devil? That is a dust devil. That's a dust nado. Is he gonna hit us? Oh shoot! Yeah, come over! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Hit! Come on over! Oh. Uh, it actually swung the car a little bit. What do you say about that? I say I won. All right, everybody, we just went through a negative 1.5 F tornado, and we're gonna we're gonna keep it up going. There, give me some subscribes. We'll see you in a minute. Right into the eye of the storm, right, Dick? Whatever you have just said is accurate. All right, we'll come into Oregon Pipe. Cactus National. Park. Just so you guys know, don't do it. Don't do it. All right, we drove way the hell down here, many, many miles to get down to this little spring for this Anoida mud turtle. And uh, now we're right on the border of Mexico. Literally, it's right there. I can see the wall and I'll show it to you. But we're gonna go out here a little ways and walk uh, to the actual spring to see if we can't find the mud turtle and the uh, pupfish. But here you go, look. That's the, that's the border wall. There's Dick. Hey, Dick. Hey. 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 Jake. Hey. Hey. And this is the path to the spring. We think. It's uh, it's pretty warm. I'd say it's probably maybe almost 90, maybe 80s, high 80s. But it's got a breeze. Feels good. 
So we're gonna walk this uh, really sandy kind of path, wash, we'll put wash or something, and uh, hopefully get here in a minute. We'll show you. So it was an unfortunate situation that happened here about, I don't know, 10 years ago where a park ranger was murdered by a group of smugglers. And uh, so it's been marred. It actually closed down for a while, but it's opened back up and this is the spring. Here it is. We're gonna see if we can find the pupfish and the mud turtle. Okay, so we got one of the Sinoida mud turtles right here. Here it is. All its glory. <laughs> so cool, man. I'm so excited to see this guy. Marked this spot in my GPS for years, and there we go. Pays off. Dick and I came down, we found him. guys oh man <laughs> we, we succeeded at something guys come on we succeeded at something can we get a we get a little amen there's a male pupfish right there chasing off the intruders and uh, also other females National Monument and Mexico border but now and it looks like they are right now working on the new wall that's being put up along the border there's lots of construction workers down here 